I get the best seat in the house. So graduation gets to me. I always worry that when I'm giving the speech, I'm going to get choked up and I'm not going to be able to finish. And this year, it's even worse. So this year, I have my own senior. I've been living my own series of lasts with my first right along with you. And add to that, I've already ugly cried once because I was out in the audience at 11 a.m. for her ceremony. But here goes. Having raised my own musical member of the class of 2019, there are some songs that I think mark important times along your journey. In the summer of 2001, when you were all babies, A Beautiful Day by U2 was the most overplayed song on the radio. But for us, the families of the class of 2019, it was the perfect anthem. Each one of you need to know that it truly was the most beautiful day when you joined our families. The dreams we had for you then are the same we have for you now, happiness and independence. In 2006, when you entered kindergarten, the number one song on the charts was Bad Day by Daniel Powder. For my senior, her first day of school was just that. She stomped off the bus all disheveled and announced, I hate school. I was crushed. You see, I love school, and it had never, I had never considered the opportunity that my children might not. It was the first of many lessons she began to teach me about her independence and how she interacts with the world, completely separate from me. Her reactions are not my reactions. Your reactions are not our reactions. As teachers and parents, we wanted you to love the books we love and enjoy the activities we love because they bring us joy. But we know that each of you are your very own person, and we have spent the last 18 years coming to terms with that. Every time you reject something we love in lieu of something you love, you are teaching us that you are becoming independent and happy and that we have done our job. In 2008, you headed to second grade. (laughs) We thought we were really cool. We let you turn up the volume on the radio in the minivan when Flo Rida came on, and you and your friends sang about apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. We scheduled, carpooled, and managed your independence for those years, and then we blinked and it was 2012. You were entering sixth grade, and the Goche song, Somebody That I Used To Know, rang painfully true. When you started telling us, it's, that's when you started telling us at home and at school that the scheduled and regimented independence just wasn't enough for you. You started forging your own path and making your own decisions, some better than others, I'm sure. You danced into high school with Bruno Mars and Uptown Funk. You were told by Rihanna you better work. 21 Pilots reminded you that you were stressed out. Walk the Moon suggested you shut up and dance and Taylor Swift just had you shake it off. You managed through bumps in the road, sometimes with the support of your family, friends, and teachers, and sometimes independently. You celebrated your victories, sometimes with us, and sometimes with a private fist pump all on your own. You each took your own unique and independent path to this milestone, and we hope that you recognize how proud we are of each one of you. So I take my final wish for you from Marshmallow. Lately, I've been thinking, I've been thinking, I want you to be happier. Even though I might not like this, I think that you'll be happier. So it is with great pride on behalf of Mrs. Johnson and myself that we present to the Board of Education, the class of 2019, who have met all of the criteria for the state of Ohio and the um, Loveland High School to be graduates of Loveland High School. Dr. Lorenz.